Hello everyone, I am Priya from Hobby Ideas. I am happy to come back to share some more craft ideas with you. Today we are going to make a beautiful mixed media wall frame that can adorn the walls of your home. I'm going to show you how to make a flower using paper canvas. Let's take paper canvas. We will need about quarter meter of paper canvas uh, to make about six flowers. I've cut these paper canvas into sheets for the convenience and I'm going to trace the flowers on the paper canvas. What we have here ready is these flowers which are already drawn on an A4 size sheet. So we have drawn these flowers on A4 size sheets. You may change the shape of the flower if you want to. I have taken this flower because I like this form, but you may choose a form that you want to choose. What I'm going to do now is, the bigger flower is about six inches in size and the rest of the flowers go smaller in size. Let's take a six inch flower and trace it. You don't need a carbon paper or tracing paper for this. You just have to place a paper canvas on the paper for tracing. Trace it lightly using a pencil. Once you finish tracing this bigger flower, we will trace the smaller ones as well. We also need to trace the leaves for the flower arrangement that we are going to do on the wall frame. So we have traced these flowers and leaves. Trace all the flowers in all the sizes. I'm going to cut the leaves and the flowers. Cut it using a sharp scissor. When you buy a paper canvas, sometimes you get variety of paper canvases. There are some good quality paper canvases that you can uh, select for making these flowers. So we have these uh, flowers and the leaves that we have cut now. And the biggest flower, we need about say uh, one big flower. So the big flower will come with three to four layers of flower coming on it. And we also need to make smaller flowers for which we won't use this bigger flower, but the smaller flowers can come with these three layers or you can also add this fourth layer. So what we are going to do now is we are going to color these flowers and I'll show you how to color them using acrylic color white and crimson. Let's take acrylic white and we'll also need let's take a flower for coloring. The first coat for this flower that we need to give is of acrylic white. I'm going to put a paper below. Let's put this paper below and I'm going to color this flower white. The white that we are giving because the, the color of the fabric if you see is little bluish. So to brighten the background and to make the flower look little bright, we are giving a white coat. The edge of each petal is highlighted with the crimson color. So we will use little crimson. Just apply it on the edge and spread it. This will automatically give you a nice gradation in the petals. If there is extra water, please remove it. If you think we need to add a little more white in the center, please do and create a lovely gradation for the petal. So you can see the gradation that is so simply created. We applied a layer of white and then just on the borders, a thin line of crimson color and then spread it inside. So we have colored all the flowers in the similar manner. What we are going to do after this is, we are going to use brush, a back side of the brush to roll these petals into a little more relief. And you can just press it. So trying to give it a little more dimension when we are doing this. 
which is very very important. We're going to do this for all the flowers. We've also colored the leaves that we have cut before. These leaves are colored using acrylic white, lemon yellow and olive green color. And the gradation that you create is in the similar manner for what we have done for the petals. So the leaves and the flowers are both colored and now I will show you how to assemble these flowers. These flowers need to be stuck one on top of the other and then we are going to make a central part of the flower. The central part of the flower is made using a small bud. I'll show you how to make this bud. We've cut this tissue fabric in the size of say about 4 inches by 4 inches and we've cut the sponge in a little smaller size. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to kind of gather the sponge into a small round shape and then I'm going to put the fabric on it tightly, gather the fabric as well together on the sponge which is stuffed inside and we are going to tie bud here. Take a matching thread. When you're tying a bud, what we can do is we can leave little extra thread here and then start tying it from top. Let your thread run on the extra thread that we have left down which will help us in knotting. Once we finish this, we are going to put a tight knot here. So if we are making about six flowers, we will need six buds made in the similar manner and different in sizes because some of the flowers are going to be very small. We can also make little extra buds for just using them as buds and not with the flower. So we will need about six to eight buds or maybe a little more as per the arrangement that we would want to do. Cut the extra threads. We will also cut the extra fabric which is here. We will need about eight to 10 buds like this. So six buds for six flowers, which are different in sizes. So the bigger flower will have a bigger bud and the smaller flower will have a smaller bud. And then we are going to color this bud into green color uh, using olive green acrylic color. I'm going to need very little. We'll take a little watery color. So when we are coloring this bud, the tissue fabric, which is a shiny tissue fabric that we've used here, the shine remains in spite of giving a acrylic color coat on it. Color all the flowers and the buds that uh, we need to make for the frame. And as I said that, we will keep this aside. And as I said that, we, we need to turn these petals. We can also do one thing. We can stick the flower and then turn the petals. That is also possible. I'll just turn a few petals of this flower. So there is little roundity. This flat, this, this petal is flat. But when you turn it around a rounded surface, it could be a pencil or an end of the brush. You get this little curvature or little realistic look to the petals. So we will do quickly for a few more and redo it again when we assemble the whole flower. Let's stick the flower using no stitch fabric glue. Apply a nice thick layer of no stitch fabric glue in the center of each flower. You can use a brush to spread it or you can even use your finger to spread it. Spread it nicely, a nice even coat and we put all these together. Once that's done, I think I need to cut this little more apply a thick layer of no stitch fabric glue here especially because we have this part coming out stick this and then also apply little glue on the few petals if the glue is very wet it may take a little time to stick so we will since it is not sticking now we will leave the glue to dry for few minutes and then we can bring it all together and stick it. So we'll leave it to dry. In the meantime, we will color the canvas now. 
I have taken a fine art canvas which is in the size of 16 by 20 inches. You may select the size as per your requirement. So if your wall is bigger, you may take a bigger canvas and accordingly you'll also have to make more flowers. So let's color the canvas. The color that I'm going to use to color the canvas is dark brown or Weindick brown. I've taken this acrylic Weindick brown. So take out a lot of color in the palette. Then either you paint the canvas using thicker brush or you may also use a sponge. So just a sponge, simple sponge dabbing technique will cover the canvas in color faster. So let's dab the color on the sponge and then on the canvas. Once the color is little more dried, you sponge dab again on it and then it evens out. So even if there are bubbles initially, you don't really have to worry about it. Go on dabbing it and dab once it's dry. So the bubbles even out, but you get a nice even texture, soft texture on the canvas. A second coat also that I have given. So now I'm going to keep this for drying. It'll take about 20-25 uh, minutes to dry. Home is not a place, it's a feeling. I have selected this font, but you can select the font of your own choice. You may also select the colors with which you want to paint this coat on your frame. So this is what I have done. I can trace this on the canvas, canvas uh, which, uh, which I have, I have painted, painted just, just now, now using, using a yellow, yellow carbon, carbon paint. paint. So I just showed you how to make the flowers and how we've written this coat in the font of uh, our choice. And we've arranged everything on the canvas. I have a frame ready, which is already uh, done uh, before. So we have this home is not a place, it's a feeling. Colored in different acrylic sparkling colors. So you can choose the color combination as per your choice. These colors are matching the flowers and the leaves that we have colored in uh, crimson and green. The colors that we have used for sparkling colors are from the range of gold, yellows, greens and uh, pinks that we have here. Uh, the flowers are stuck using no stitch fabric glue and you can see these petals which are all curled on the end of the brush. How beautiful it looks. So this is how the arrangement that we have done. Also a little bit more sparkle added with these spirals that we have drawn here using again the sparkling colors and the same shades that we have used for writing this coat. And this is a beautiful frame that you can hang on the walls of your home. For the love of craft and for more craft ideas, please visit us at www.hobbyideas.in.